Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR4 memory modules feature customizable multicolor lighting and are designed for overclocking with XMP 2.0 support. Give your build a unique look with vibrant RGB LED memory by Corsair. Click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! How's it going guys? Welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is going to be a quick case review video. This is the Fractal Design Meshify C, brand new case, and it bears some strong similarities to the Fractal Design Define C. However, this case features a tempered glass side panel, a newly redesigned front panel that's a bit of a different sort of look for Fractal. So I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of it, give you guys a once over, build a quick system, and then I'll come back with my thoughts at the end. So the Mesh 5C comes pretty well packed, uh, what you would expect, I would think, for a mid-tower computer case of this caliber. This is going to MSRP for $90, $89.99 to be more specific, and you'll notice a pretty familiar box-like aesthetic like you might have uh, recognized from some other fractal cases that have come out in the past. However, the thing that stood out to me, of course, uh, the most at the beginning, probably the uh, the source of the Meshify C name is this mesh panel that they have here across the front. Now this is, they've added like tessellation, so there is some texture there. Uh, it, it definitely gives it a, a, a unique characteristic, I think. Haven't really seen a front panel design that's like this. But even though it does have, you know, all those angles in there and everything, uh, it's not necessarily like it stands out too terribly bad. I've seen this done with like plastic panels before and had it look pretty horrible. Um, but in this case, I, I kind of like it actually. Of course, that's an aesthetic thing, so people are going to either love it or hate it. So of course, leave comments in the comment section. Let us know whether or not you like this actual design. But the goal here is to provide plenty of airflow. So this is a completely mesh panel. There is some foam behind it, so it is going to allow some air to pass through. It's going to act as a dust filter. And then you might also notice there's a Fractal Design logo down here in the lower left. It's uh, on a silver background, so the Fractal logo does stand out just a little bit more. And beyond that, it's, it is the same typical frame uh, from the Define C, for example. At the top for I.O., you have a typical power and reset button, uh, mic and headphone jack, as well as a couple USB 3.0 ports. At the very top, there is a mesh magnetic cover, and this is another dust filter. This is more to keep dust from falling down into the case, since that's probably going to be exhaust there at the top. But some magnets will hold it in place. It slides down a little bit, but it is recessed, so it'll kind of stay there once it is where it should be. I'll take the tempered glass side panel off in just a second, but that uh, does come with a clear protective sheet of plastic over it. I've left the uh, glass warning there uh, for the time being, and it has four uh, black thumb screws that hold it in place, and it has some rubber mounts in there that also uh, keep it from banging on the actual metal there since the case is made of steel and plastic otherwise. Um, now here at the back you can see pretty standard I.O. layout, uh, ATX case, so seven expansion slots. The case ships with two fans, a 120 at the back for exhaust, as well as a 120 at the front for intake. Uh, those are Fractal Dynamic GP12 fans, by the way. And then for your power supply mount down here at the bottom, uh, it actually has a removable piece so you can insert that power supply from the back since it does have a power supply shroud inside. It would make it a little bit more difficult to mount that way. Captive thumb screws on these uh, for that mount for the power supply as well as for the opposite side side panel. So I can pop that off really quick. This doesn't come with the sound dampening pieces uh, like the, the standard Define series comes with, so bear that in mind, although they are very sturdy as you would expect from Fractal and of course all made of steel. Let's take a quick look at drive bay expansion. You have this panel here at the back that can support up to three 2.5 inch drives, mechanical uh, drives or SSDs. And then there's a little caddy down here in the lower left, uh, which currently has the accessories box in it. So you can actually fit two more 3.5 five inch drives down there. Uh, again, pretty much the same layout that you had in the Define C. Like the Define C as well, there's tons of cable management tie down points back here. There is this channel here for thicker cables. It does have a series of fractal uh, Velcro strips with it to help keep those in place. Really good and really easy for cable management, especially considering that once you do get everything in there, there's plenty of room to tuck uh, extra cables in at the bottom of the case, hidden by the power supply shroud. Now flipping back around here to the front just to finish off the uh, dust filtration capabilities of this case, there is a long dust filtration uh, cover here at the bottom and it covers the entire uh, bottom of the case. So if you have an intake fan, you can mount a 120 millimeter intake fan towards the front of the case at the bottom uh, right up here or your power supply. This covers both of those and it's nice to be able to access that completely from the front of the case. And once you've got that popped off, just like most cases with a plastic front bezel, you can grab the front here and you can remove that. Now the cabling does stay attached there, so I can't pull this all the way off, but uh, there's your front panel. And here's how you would access the dust filter 
here. It actually has just a plastic tab at the bottom that you kind of lift and pops out to the front and then two plastic tabs that catch and hold it onto the front as well. And then you can access that if you needed to clean this. Again, this has uh, a metal grill that's on the front. It also has some foam padding back in there as well, which I would imagine might kill a little bit of the noise, but also of course is going to uh, catch more dust that might be pulling in through the front here. With that off, you can also see the 120 millimeter intake fan that's pre-mounted there at the front. This isn't the easiest dust filter to get to since you do have to pull this front piece off partially. So not the best implementation. However, it does give you tons of airflow and uh, you can access that whole thing for popping it off to clean it out. Now let's get the tempered glass side panel piece off. A uh, pretty standard piece of gray glass here. There is a bit of, uh, I wanna say paint here on the inside to kind of uh, corner off the edges. So it's nice that uh, Fractal did put a little bit of extra effort in here rather than just making it a, a tempered glass piece. There's also two pads, uh, strips along the top and the bottom for where it actually makes contact with the case, which should help uh, reduce and prevent vibration against it. So those would make contact with these pads. There's actually a strip here and a strip here that's also foam. So that's a great way for that to make contact. And then the mounting points here for those thumb screws are also rubberized. So uh, it, it hasn't been vibrating or, or banging around at all on me. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Now here you can actually see the uh, shroud for the power supply goes all the way across the bottom. There is an extra panel here towards the front. You can remove that or you can leave it in place depending on what you do with that. As for fan support, you can do up to 620 millimeter fans, two at the top, three at the front, one at the bottom. For 140 millimeter fans, you can do up to four, two at the top and two at the front. Now with all that said, I think I'm just about ready to start a quick build in this case. Uh, I will point out the standoffs. It does come with a center standoff with the fixed spot so it will hold your uh, motherboard in place once it's in there. The rest of the standoffs are not installed though, so those will be in here with the accessories, I have to imagine. Accessories also include a set of zip ties, uh, your screws for mounting your motherboard, and then, oh look, they're individually packaged, so I've got some standoff screws for mounting hard drives, uh, you got screws for mounting your power supply at the back. It does come with a nice little wipey cloth to wipe off all of those fingerprints after you get your build all done with. And then you've got uh, the rest of the standoffs as well as a standoff nut for tightening, tightening them. Thank you Fractal for including that. It's also metal, so that's cool. And then the rest of the screws which you'd use for mounting 2.5 inch drives. That is a nice quick introduction to this case though. Let me build a system in here and I'll be back in just a minute and I'll let you guys know how it went. So there you have it guys, my build is now complete in the Fractal Defined Mesh of 5C and uh, went pretty smoothly as expected. Real quickly, I wanted to point out some of the size limitations that are in here. I specifically went with a pretty large size GPU and a pretty large size air cooler. Uh, for GPU length, you can have up to 315 millimeter uh, GPUs. That's with the front fan mounted. For CPU cooler height, up to 172 millimeters. Uh, and then for power supply length up to 175 millimeters. So there was plenty of space for all that stuff that I have in here. As for hardware installed, I have the Asus X370-F Gaming motherboard. It's an AM4 motherboard. This is primarily an AMD system. I have a Ryzen 5 1600 CPU. Uh, the GPU is also an Asus uh, ROG Strix. Uh, this is an RX 580 graphics card. The CPU cooler is an Enermax ETS T40. The memory is from G-Skill, their Trident, Trident X series. Uh, and then for storage, I have a Patriot uh, Hellfire 480 gig NVMe SSD. Now, I haven't done much configuration with this system, but the stock fans are running pretty quiet right out of the gate. They're both just plugged directly into the motherboard, so they're being controlled by the motherboard software. And then everything as far as cable management fit in there really nice, and that was thanks to the extra cable management channeling areas we had at the back. 
pretty much a very similar experience to the one that I had when originally building in the Define C. Let's quickly run down pros and cons though. For the pros, a lot of the stuff that Fractal is known for, it's got very solid construction, uh, very solid steel. It's not really thin gauge or anything like that. There's metal in a lot of places where a lot of other uh, cases tend to skimp on that, such as the metal drive cages down at the bottom, as well as the metal hardware that's included, such as the uh, CPU standoff tightener, which is very nice to have. Also having what is now another tempered glass case side panel option from Fractal is pretty cool. Although I would say that this tempered glass piece does have a fairly dark tint. So moving over to cons, the dark tints on the tempered glass does make it a little bit more challenging to see inside. So I would recommend if you're going that, that route to choose internal components that maybe light up a little bit more, that are a little bit more uh, distinct. I do have some lights on the graphics card and the motherboard, but uh, adding, for instance, maybe some case fans with LEDs on them or the uh, G-Skill RGB memory, for example, would make a lot of stuff in there stand out a bit more. Of course, flip side to that is that some people want things to be subtle in there, so that might have been what Fractal was going for since they like to have sort of a, a more subtle aesthetic the darker glass might be something that they did intentional for that. So it really is up to your preference, which is also the same thing you could say about that front mesh design. I kind of like it. I think it turned out pretty good, but it's not going to be for everyone. And it's really going to come down to your preferences when it comes to aesthetics. A couple other things to point out would be that that front mesh panel is kind of difficult to get at. It's not like one of the things you can just pop off. So something to consider there if uh, easy access to dust filters is something that you're very concerned about. And then uh, if I had another thing to add here, definitely a USB 3.1 front panel connector instead of the USB 3.0. The 3.1s are a lot nicer and it would have been cool to see that included here as well. But perhaps a new version will come in the future that has that integrated too. So ultimately, I think I like this case. I think some of the uh, visual stuff comes down to whether or not you approve of it. But overall, I think Fractal has done a pretty good job here. And coming in at less than 100 bucks, 89.99 MSRP is pretty nice too. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this case. Let me know if you have a build coming up soon because it is the fall season. I think people are going back to school and I think there's a good reason to build new computers out right now too with a lot of the new launches recently. Anyway guys, thanks so much again for watching this video and we'll see you next time.